Well, Red's Iowa Train videos here. I got the old 79 F-150 out for probably the last time this fall before they start putting salt in the roads and all that. So I thought I'd run around down here to Montour and burn some of that $4 an hour gas. I'm going to see if I can catch some trains. I see I got a, uh, a westbound sitting down here on track two. Not sure what he's doing. I just pulled into town, so just down here checking out the camper and got my flag mounted in there to Mount Red right there. That pile of asphalt that the railroad left, I thought I'd utilize it. And we'll just call her Mount Red. But yeah, I just pulled into town and I see I got a westbound down here waiting on track two here in Montour. Got the radio on, but I haven't heard anything yet, so just have to see what's going on here. And we got all red on the signals, so he might be waiting on a westbound to go around them and then do the crossover or something but we'll just keep on listening to the radio and it's like maybe a mixed freight down there yeah we'll keep watching see what happens well here's what that westbound was waiting on at least i'm thinking he has got a westbound up here in montour iowa <laughs> Westbound stack train here in Montour, Iowa. Pretty nice day here today. It's supposed to get 50 degrees, so for November 20th in Iowa, that's t shirt weather. Pretty much. So we got this, uh, see if that westbound gets to go ahead, or he might have to wait for another train. I've seen trains sit down here for two or three trains, letting the priority trains go by, but. We'll wait and see if we hear the uh, brake release horn or not. And maybe we'll get a westbound here on track two. And I'm still waiting on that westbound on track two here. He's sitting there and just as I thought, he's waiting for another train. So he's letting one pass him on track one right now. Just had a stack train go through on track one a little bit ago here. And so these guys on track one must be priority, I'm guessing, since this that train that's uh the westbound there on track two, he's just he's been there for oh shoot, half an hour probably now. And he's taking the crossover. So track one to track two. And then maybe that uh, westbound that he's passing, maybe he'll be heading westbound on track two instead of taking the crossover. I...
just took the crossover from track one to track two here through Montour, Iowa. Now I'm gonna wait on this, uh, got another westbound that he went around on track two. We'll see if it's gonna be his turn in line now. Reds Iowa train videos. Yeah, Reds Iowa train videos again here in Montour. Got an eastbound UP now coming on track one. Still waiting on that westbound on track two. He's let two trains go by him already and he's still sitting there. CNW coiled steel cars right there. I got the 18 conductor here to show you guys how it's, uh, the whole BB thing's supposed to run. Say what? Huh? What'd you say? That I got the 18 conductor with me here to show you guys how this BB's supposed to run. Oh, okay. Uh, I think we were over there so fast yesterday, we got a little uh, held away today. Son of a bitch. That's what we're shooting for here. Quit. So there's your train crews talking to each other as they pass each other here. And so that one on track two, maybe he's gonna take the crossover now to track one and been waiting. So that'd be the third train that's gone by since he's been sitting there. So we'll see if he gets a move on after this one now. Well, I can hear that westbound powering up finally. Looks like he's on the move. So he waited for three trains to pass and now it's finally his turn with whatever the prior priorities that the railroad has with different trains so he must have been at the bottom of the list in the priority. Yeah we had a stack train go by and two mixed freights go by and now it appears to be his turn. That's a beautiful day down here in Montour, Iowa, November 20th, 2021. Working on 50 degrees. It could turn to snow at any time around these parts. Yeah, I would have figured he was going to take the crossover after that one passed him on track one, but doesn't appear to be the case. It, he could be jumping over to track one at milepost 148 too, so this is, that's about milepost 139-ish that this crossover's at. And then the next crossover they got is at milepost 148, so the UP spreads the crossovers out an average of eight miles. Apparently that makes them about the most efficient with that distance between crossovers. So 
depend on what happens, whether it's track failure, derailments, breakdowns, priorities, keep moving the best that way. Yeah, he's on the power, just getting the load moving yet. So three trains went by before it was this guy's turn. He had to be pretty patient waiting in line there. Getting pretty lucky on the mixed freights here. This will be my third mixed freight, so. My fourth train in uh, yeah, roughly an hour, or not quite an hour, I guess. Caught myself a CN geometry car this morning up around Cedar Falls. The track track inspection car. There's an old Wisconsin Central. Look at there. see quite a few of the Wisconsin Central cars around Waterloo Cedar Falls since the CN took them over. There's some nice new tankers. Nice new paint jobs at least. seen better days, slumping in the middle. to the camper when it come down here. And I'll end up staying down here in the winter a little bit too. Just got burned a lot of gas in that camper. It takes a lot to keep a lot to keep it warm in there.
Yep. Westbound UP mixed freight on track two finally got going, so I saw him sitting there about an hour ago, and after three trains passed, it was his turn to go. Well, maybe we have a little bit of a little bit of a calm time here now. That's four trains, so. Yep, Montour, Iowa, Reds Iowa train videos.